Hello, hello, everybody. How are you doing today? Hello, everybody. How are you doing today? How is everyone? So today we are doing another story time with Teacher Cole. And let's see here. Looks like we have a great connection, but I am not seeing myself on a couple of these. So let's just give it a second, make it sure everything is connected properly. We are being seen. Ah, there we are on YouTube finally. All right, now let's check our Facebook. We are live. Ooh, my lighting is a little bit strange. Uh, I'll have to remember to turn on the other light next time. All right. So how is everyone doing today? Everyone doing well? We're doing good? I hope so. So. Today, we have another Halloween-themed story, but I have a little bit of sad news. Pumpkin, Charlie Brown! But I cannot find my copy of It's a Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown, and apparently finding it online is almost impossible. <laughs> I do find it. I will just do an extra special one, maybe on Halloween itself. I don't know. We shall see. Um, but I will keep looking for it, and I will do a special extra teacher um, teacher Cole's uh, story time with teacher Cole for that. Okay. But I do have another book that I had not put on my list. And I think you guys might like this one a lot. So this one is the Bernstein bears and the ghost of the forest. I like the Bernstein bears. I grew up reading some of these books, and I know that uh, they're not as commonplace nowadays, but they were just a lot of fun, and I like the hand-drawn pictures. Uh, interesting way to see um, a different style of illustrations and writing. And I like the Berenstein Bears. I think they're just a lot of fun. So without further ado, let's read The Berenstein Bears. All right, so let's share my screen here and we will get busy. All right, here we go. All right. Okay, here we are. Okay, so The Berenstein Bears and the Ghost of the Forest by Stan and Jan Berenstein. Okay. Off go the bear scout to camp out all night. Will an unwelcome ghost visit their site? I don't know. Hmm. Let's find out. I think these are so interesting. I love it. All right. So here we go. The Berenstain Bears and the Ghost of the Forest. Written and illustrated by Jan and Stan. Berenstein. Look out for Papa, said Brother Bear, as the bear scouts tiptoed down the stairs. We won't need Pa, Sister Bear said. Not this trip, agreed Cousin Fred. Hmm. I see you scouts are on your way into great spooky forest for an overnight stay. But this trip, this is a trip we'd rather not share. It's also a trip I'd rather not share. Me sleep with spooks? Not on a dare. Oh, hmm. Why do you think they don't want Papa to go? What do you think? I don't know. I wonder why. Let's find out. Spooks, gasped the scouts. Not a little afraid. Spooks of all kinds, a naughty parade. Oh, look at all the spooky thoughts they are having. Can you see them? Do they look scary to you? It looks like something I'd see in a carnival. 
and boss of them all, the ghost of the wood. Call off the trip, Scouts. I really and truly think you should. Huh. Why is Papa Bear trying to keep them from going on their trip? Do you know why he's trying to scare them? Nonsense, said Mama, who overheard. Spooks indeed. Not another word. Your Papa's just trying to give you a scare. So be off with you, Scouts, smiled wise Mama Bear. Mm. Does Mama Bear know that Papa Bear is being a trickster? I think so. As the Scouts waved goodbye to Mama Bear, Pa sneaked around and climbed the stair, then up to the attic to the old rag box. What's Papa up to? The sly old fox. Sly Papa cut three holes in a sheet and turned himself into a ghost with bare feet. Leader Jane met the scouts at the edge of the wood. No Papa, she asked. That's very good. Pa gave us a bit of a Right. He said there are spooks and they come out at night. Spooks. That's nonsense. Now, let me explain. There are no such things, said Scout Leader Jane. Hmm. Scout Leader Jane and Mama Bear both say there are no spooks. Do you agree? What do you think? How do the children feel? The, the children here. How do they feel? Look at their faces. Do they look happy? Sad? Or scared? What do you think? Let's find out. So the scouts went to work setting up camp, raising the tent, filling the lamp, building the fire, getting it lit. Jane took time to explore a bit. She collected some leaves. She studied some seeds. That's when she heard a voice in the weeds, chuckling and talking to himself. And there was, you guessed it, Papa Q Bear. Did he get caught being naughty? Why do you think he is hiding here? Can you guess? Take a look at the picture. Why is he hiding? He pulled the sheet over his head. Hmm, said Jane as she tiptoed away. This is a game that two can play. Then using twigs and leaves as a base, she started to make what looked like a face. Ooh. What is Scout Leader Jane going to do? What do you think? The scouts told stories in the firelight. Then they all bedded down for the night. Ooh. They heard it just as they started to doze. It frightened those scouts from their head to their toes. What do you think that scary sound is? Do you think it might be Papa Bear? Woo! I'm the ghost of the forest! They ran to Jane's tent. But Jane wasn't there. What, what shall we do? cried Sister Bear. Hmm. 
Why is Scout Leader Jane missing? She should be in the tent. Do you know why she is missing? Oh my! Then a spookier spook came into the sight and gave the first ghost a terrible fright. Woo! I'm the ghost of the forest! Uh-oh. What did Scout Leader Jane do? And look, it's Papa Bear! Does he look like he is happy now or frightened and scared? And who did Spook 2 turn out to be? <gasps> Leader Jane, of course. That's when they saw Spook number 3. Woo! Woo! Who is this? Looks scary. Is there a real ghost in the forest? Oh, no. As the campers and posh and took a quick look. Oh, and a very quick, good look. She saw something strange. A yellow hat on a pumpkin head. Pa's red pajamas and a book of mattress. That looked exactly like Mama's. Is this Mama Bear? Is she getting in on the fun, too? Just having fun, the voice. It was Mama's. Then her head poked out of Papa's pajamas. Teaching Pa a lesson like this was just too good a chance to miss. It's a double ghost lesson, said Jane with a grin. There are no such things. There's never, there never have been. But just as sure as night follows day, it's fun to be scared of them anyway. <laughs> oh, so tell me, did you like the story? Did you enjoy that fun ghost story? I think it's fun to be scared sometimes. This is not too scary. How do you feel? Do you think it's fun to be scared sometimes? Well, I hope you enjoyed this story and hopefully I will eventually be able to find my Charlie Brown book and then we will have an extra bonus story. <laughs> okay, you guys, I hope everybody enjoyed our story time with Teacher Cole today. I look forward to seeing you next week for a brand new story. See you soon. Goodbye, everyone.